What's up guys, on the table in front of us, four different wallets for men from Macy's. The title of the video is Wallets for Men from Macy's for $50 and under, but in reality it's actually $55 and under. So, $55 and under, our most expensive wallet is $55 and our least expensive wallet is $19.99. First up is our men's fossil wallet. This is the most expensive at $55. It is a leather bifold with flip ID. It is genuine leather, and I am happy to report this wallet. If you've ever been inside a fossil store at the mall, it smells exactly like a fossil store. So, authentic, Fossil Genuine Leather Bifold Brown Wallet with Flip ID. Now, the inside of the Fossil Wallet. You can see beautiful leather grain on the outside. It's got this sort of distressed look, but that's the way it looks. Not any form of defect, so don't worry about that. You can see the beautiful stitching around the edging. Now, at first you might be confused because this ID panel flips out almost like a trifold, but really I think you'll notice that it's really just sort of stitched and flips out. So it's really just an added feature, but if we open it, you get another ID slot on the inside. So two IDs maybe have your state ID and then an additional ID maybe for work or for school. And, but most importantly, like I said, this is a bifold. So, two sides, a left side and a right side. The right side, no additional feature like the left side with the fold-out ID slot. But as you can see, both have the exact same amount of pockets. And as you can see at the top, just a single bill slot. So, pockets on the insides, on the left, and on the right and flipping the wallet over to the back no branding just again this really soft supple leather what i really appreciate about this wallet actually is the fact it's broken in that is to say it's something i appreciate like i said cannot get over um the stitching around the edge how seamless it is and how nice it looks it's neat and tidy and really offers great contrast. And like I mentioned, inside is a six or seven page long user manual. Just simple instructions on how to keep it looking great according to the manual. Simple, essential, basic information. Don't use it around dyes, how to clean it, and basically limit exposure to sunlight, heat, and humidity. So don't keep this in your car, for example, in the glove compartment take it with you, which is pretty good information um, regardless how many of us have walked into the store and needed an ID. So our Fossil Men's Bifold Wallet is the most expensive wallet. It is a bifold, but could almost be considered trifold with its extended ID slot. You've got an ID slot on the front side and the back side of the flip out. And of course, room for up to eight credit cards or plastic cards and a bill slot, which is large enough for currencies around the world. Next up, figured a bifold wallet but from a different brand. So Perialis, this one I believe was 49, maybe it was 45, but the texture of the leather grain and the look of it um, feels very similar. And also the stitching on the outside is very similar as well. It's neat and tidy. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. This is the pass case, just a cardboard box, nothing special with the fossil. It's a tin. Uh, this one you'll pretty much discard. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, now that the Perry Ellis is out of the case, what I will say compared to the fossil, now even though this is not a comparison video, let's compare them anyway. 
The Fossil, I think, is slightly thicker feeling. The Perry Ellis feels slightly thinner feeling, but you can see they are both roughly similar in size. And like I said, the leather grain looks very similar, and so too does the stitching. But like I said, I think the Perry Ellis is just slightly thinner. Though, because it is the pass case, it will actually offer, like our fossil, a flip out ID panel. Periel's portfolio, I think the name suits it well. It's thin, it's light. This is definitely thinner and lighter than the fossil before it. Get one ID slot instead of two. This does have a billfold, again, large enough for European currency for basically traveling around the world. As you can see, you get some nice Perialis embroidery on the inside or pattern work. And you can actually see it visible once you flip the ID slot up. And just like the fossil is already broken in. So three card slots on the left and three on the right. And also a hideaway slot on both the left and right hand sides behind the credit card slots. So looking for something maybe thinner and save a few dollars, the Perry Ellis might be the way to go. Both are nonetheless great wallets. That is the profile from the top and this is the profile from the back and from the side and from the front once again. Okay, now for our third most expensive wallet. This is the Tommy Hilfiger Ultra Thin Case. Something you can just grab off the shelf, but it is available online. It's low profile, has an exterior ID window, has an elastic pull tab, and easy access exterior pockets. This is the Tommy Hilfiger Ultra Thin Case, and it was $39.50. So it, like the Fossil, has RFID protection. So just like we compared the Fossil and the Perry Ellis, let's compare now the Perry Ellis to the Tommy Hilfiger as it was the last one we looked at. And one thing you'll remember from the Perry Ellis is nothing about RFID protection. If you want the RFID protection, but don't want the bulk of the Fossil, the Tommy Hilfiger Ultra Thin Card Case is the one for you. You'll be happy to see genuine leather imprinted on the front. Like both other wallets, this has an ID slot. That elastic pulse tab is for a top credit card slot, probably good for two credit cards. And on the back, a fourth credit card a fifth credit card, and a sixth credit card. And what I really like here is the attention to detail by Tommy Hilfiger with the uh, navy blue finish of the wallet itself with the white and red stripes. Quick and easy access, but don't need all the features, then this genuine leather Tommy Hilfiger with RFID protection is the best option, I think. And last but not least, off the shelf, also with RFID protection, also from Tommy Hilfiger, is the elastic card case. This is the Ranger in blue for $19.99. Let's go ahead and take a look. Don't expect designer quality, though I will say am pleased with both the Perialis, the Fossil, and the Tommy Hilfiger Ultra Thin card case before this. So yes, it's $19.99, but it does lack in the way that it presents itself. The blue, not the best color, but overall for a cheap wallet, should hold up and stand the test of time. And also to give it the benefit of the doubt, does offer some qualifying features like RFID protection and a general purpose slot on the top that can house three or four credit cards. And even though no elastic pull strap, it does still have a ridge at the bottom, an open area to 
push cards out with your thumb. So for $19.99, not the most attractive looking, but probably a good durable wallet over time. Ranger card holder. As you can see, compared to the Ranger in blue, slightly larger imprint. Third most expensive wallet. This is the Tommy Hilfiger Ultra Thin Case. Third to last, our Perry Ellis Portfolio Passport Wallet. It's a bifold. For $55, the biggest wallet. Let's see it in the pocket how well it fits. So there you have it. Four men's wallets under $55 at Macy's. In this price range, this is what you can expect to find. We took a look at the quality of each, the features of each. Starting with our least expensive, the Ranger by Tommy Hilfiger. It's a card holder. It was the least feature packed of the bunch, but still has qualifying features. It has RFID protection and room for up to roughly four credit cards. It being the cheapest, leaves a little bit left to be desired in terms of fit and finish, but the overall durability of it, I believe, will last several years. So for $19.99, it's a thin compact style and is durable, I think, to last several years. Though, like I said, do expect to be a little dismayed by the fit and finish. It is just a little bit left to be desired. Moving up the food chain to a second card holder. By the way, to sum this up, two different styles of men's wallets, card holders, and bifold wallets. But going back to what I was saying, stepping up the chain a little bit to the Tommy Hilfiger Ultra Thin Card Holder, and you get the ability to carry twice as many cards as the Ranger. It has an ID slot and RFID protection. I do prefer the color of the Ultra Thin Card Holder, just a bit better than the Ranger, which is a bright blue. The Ultra Thin Card Holder by Tommy Hilfiger for $35 is a navy blue, more in line with the brand and more neutral in general overall as you style this and wear it. But overall, to summarize this, four men's wallets under $55. For under $55, quality is amazing. The smell of the leather grain from each of these vaults is overwhelming my nose right now. So really good stuff. I think Macy's is a good place to look. Good all around is my overall remark for these men's wallets at Macy's for under $55 for men. Hit that like button, subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this close up first look, first impressions comparison. My name is John because I picked these wallets up at Macy's that makes these a big box good. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below for more. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I post YouTube and share this video with friends and family. My name is John, thank you so much again for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.